Welcome back to America's Forum right here on Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachner. J.D. Hayworth here, Andy Tillis back with us, and Matt Kibbe, who has a book out that it, it's, it's such an intriguing title. We had to bring you back for a second segment. Don't hurt people and don't take their stuff. A libertarian manifesto. Our questioning continues with Andy Tillis. Matt, what is, what is the message you're hoping that readers will come away with? You know, I really want to boil down all of the complex um, thinking on libertarianism down to six basic principles. And, and the first two, you'll be surprised to know, are don't hurt people, don't take their stuff, take responsibility, work for it, mind your own business. And the most important one, given today's context, is fight the power. Because I think every one of us have a responsibility to show up and engage in this process to, to, to hold Washington accountable because they think we work for them. I'm going to argue that, that they work for us. It's striking the simplicity of the title of the book here. Is that another way of saying that the Republican Party is overthinking too much of this uh, debate that they're having within the party? Well, you know, I think there is a, there's a real debate about the future of the Republican Party, but it's not like this is not the first time it's happened. Ronald Reagan primaried a sitting Republican president. And at the time, they predicted that this would be the end of the GOP. He was going to destroy it. But what he did is he, he put ideas back into the party. We're having that debate today. What's different today is everything's more decentralized. And, and people can do an end run right around the RNC, self-organize. I know moms uh, that run tea parties with Facebook pages bigger than the county GOP. That gives more power to people. We should take advantage of that. Well, it's interesting because every time there's been an uptick in conservative political fortunes, for example, post-1994 election, I remember Time Magazine's cover, The Dangers of Hyper-Democracy. Why, how dare ordinary citizens get involved in Washington? And here we are seeing this again where I've been taking a look at this and having been there, it seems like it's less uh, conservative versus moderate as it is Washington and the establishment versus the rest of the country are certainly the populist conservative movement. Yeah, it's, it's very much, uh, I think the old rules, even conservative versus liberal, but definitely Republican versus Democrat, because it's really the establishment. And there's establishment figures in the Republican Party as well. They're consolidating power. They're spending so much money they don't have. They're taking over health care. They're snooping on us through the NSA. It's really that critical tipping point at the same time, we have all this freedom. We, you know, we, we can get information from multiple sources. We can, we can participate in politics in a way like never before. That's the clash. That's the this, this so-called civil war. Um, I think we can win that. And I love the fact that, that radical progressives now hate the democratization of politics because we win on that playing field. Now, the Republican Party has uh, you know, a lot of hope for the grassroots groups, the Tea Party still, even some establishment members of that party that you spoke about. But Matt, what do you think has a, a brighter future, the Republican Party or the libertarian movement? Because you know, there is a libertarian party as well in this country. Uh, a lot of po folks openly ask the question, how long does the Republican Party's you know, lifespan last? Yeah, well, it, it's kind of up to them, right? Because I think we have a, a two-party system in this country. I don't think third parties work that well, and that's why the Libertarian Party's never become anything. There have been moments when the Republican Party actually ably represented these core libertarian values. Ronald Reagan did it. I think we did it in 2010. I think there was a lot of that in the 1994 revolution against the establishment, including the GOP establishment. But if the, if the GOP doesn't want us, I suspect they could create a third party because you have a constituency of people that aren't waiting around to be told what to do anymore. They're going to do it for themselves. So it would make more sense for the Republican Party to pick uh, something that they can agree on with the Tea Party and Freedom Works and come together. You know, they even hired a chief technology officer after the last election. It would have been cool if they'd done it before. Right. But, you know, they, they have to get comfortable with this very chaotic world where voters and constituents are customers, and the customer is always right. And they still want to get into a smoke-filled room and make the decisions for us and then run the ads and tell us what to think and what to do. If they would get comfortable with the philosophy that they supposedly agree with anyway, freedom, voluntary association, they could do really important things. Hmm. Let, let me turn to a topic that um, really attracted my attention in my final years in Congress and, and continues to disturb me. Our failure to secure our borders. 
Uh, Ron Paul, my old House colleague, ran as a border hawk in, in 2008. By 2012, he had gone back to a libertarian position where ostensibly borders didn't matter. Yeah. It seems like Rand Paul is trying to triangulate now on this issue a little bit too. Where Where is the true libertarian philosophy of border security? And yeah. is this going to be, again, one of those issues that continues to divide uh, the right? Like, like a true libertarian, um, I probably don't agree with anybody's position in Washington, D.C., and, and I think that the Senate bill was a great example of how uh, politics screws up everything. Because it was, remember, it was written by Democrats. It was written by Democrats who were doing the bidding of unions, and unions certainly don't want people to come to this country to work. I think the rule that unites us all is if you want to come to this country, you want to follow the rules, you want to work, you want to contribute, we want you. That's the American system. Um, but you can't arbitrarily change the rules midway so that the people that are honestly standing in line trying to do it the right way get screwed because we just gave amnesty to somebody that cheated. Um, you could do that by fixing prospectively the process by which honest good people get into this country, but that's the, that bill didn't do that, did it? No, nope. and, and it, it leads to the question about the presidential sweepstakes in 2016. Marco Rubio was looked at as, as an up-and-comer. He signs on with Senator McCain and others in the, in the Gang of Eight. That goes away. Now, Jeb Bush, um, last weekend, talked about illegal immigration being an act of love. Does that make him the establishment candidate, or does that now seal his fate in terms of 2016 as a non-candidate? Well, it makes him the flavor of the week. Um, I, think, I think Republicans, the most interesting Republicans, don't let Chuck Schumer write their bill for them. They should write their own bill. They should explain what they're for. I think that's a burden now, and you're going to see it on health care, too. We can't just repeal Obamacare now. We have to fix the mess. And that takes a lot more guts than just voting against something. So maybe we need to amend the title of your book. Again, the title as it stands right now is Don't Hurt People and Don't Take Their Stuff, a Libertarian Manifesto, we might add, and Don't Let Chuck Schumer Write Your Bill from the Left. Matt Kibbe, we thank you for your time and a pair of segments you did with us here today on America's Forum. Thank you. It's been great. Great to see you, man. Great to have you down here. We'll be back here with more on America's Forum. You can always find Matt's book coming out very soon on Amazon. You can reach out to us, too, on social media at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. Email address, connect at NewsmaxTV.com and Facebook, facebook.com backslash Newsmax TV.